to the beach, you automatically know you need to grab the sunscreen. Going to the swimming pool, you get the sunscreen as well. But did you know sunscreen is important every single day? But it's complicated. Let's face it, there are numerous brands, different types of SPF. It is overwhelming. So today, and I'm glad you asked, we're headed to the experts. We're gonna talk with the co-founder of Complexion, which is located right off Commerce and Rosa L. Parks, and we're gonna get all the details, breaking it down, easy and simple. We headed to see the expert, Natalie Copeland, who is also a nurse practitioner, and you are the co-founder of Complexion right here downtown. Y'all been open around two years, but you've got a whole lot of knowledge that you're putting into this. Everyone wants to know sunscreen. What SPF do you need? How often do you have to put it back on? And what about your little children? So SPF is huge. Um, you should be wearing it every day. If you are wearing it for everyday use, you should be getting about a 30 SPF. If you're going to like the lake or the beach or gonna be in the sun for longer periods of time, I would aim to get around SPF 50. Um, and it's always hard to get it on men and little ones. So. <laughs> For men, I always really like, or kids too, a spray. Mm -hmm. um, easy to get on them, you can spray, wipe it down real fast, and you're not kind of rubbing it in like the other sunscreens. So something yeah. like this. When you do the spray, do you need to let it sit in and soak in, or once you spray, can the little ones just go and hop in the pool? So I spray, kind of try and rub it in as they're running around. Uh -huh. um, and if you can let it sit in for five, 10 minutes, that's the best. But a lot of times, you know, little kids, they're just kind of off. They're ready to go. They're so ready to go. Anything's good. Anything's better than nothing. Uh, anything's better than nothing. Um, also for kids, try to look for a physical or mineral sunscreen, um, something with more natural ingredients. Um, nothing with a lot of chemicals in it. And you can find something like LTMD makes some um, uh, physical sunscreens, but you can also find them at Target too. Okay, and when you're looking at the ingredients, you just turn it over to the back and just really scan. If there are words you don't understand, probably some chemicals. There'll probably be some that you don't understand, uh, but a lot of them will say physical on the front okay. or mineral sunscreen, so look for those for kids. Okay, this is embarrassing. I really didn't realize there was a physical versus a mineral type sunscreen. So that's something you always wanna look for, regardless if it's long exposure or even short. Yes. If you're gonna be basically outside, small period of time, 30 SPF. 30 SPF. If you're gonna be out, you're going to the lake, you're headed to the beach, you're gonna be out there longer, towards the 50 SPF. And then how often do you reapply? You should be reapplying about every two hours. Um, if you're a mom or you're someone that just is kind of out and about and you're mm -hmm. like, I need something really fast, at least for your face, because uh -huh. it's hard to reapply you know, sunscreens on your face. Right. Um, something like this, it's a brush with a sunscreen. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually powder form, so Color Science makes a great one. I think Supergoop makes a great one. And you can just brush it on over your makeup and it will help with Hold on, so a powder is just as effective as something that is more of that old-fashioned consistency we're used to. This is better for reapplying. So okay. if, you're, if you can put on sunscreen in the morning, mm -hmm. and then if you're out and about and you're like, oh, I don't have time to reapply, mm -hmm. Just rub some of this on. They also make some sprays that have SPF in it now, um, so kind of use this to reapply. Okay, this is a lot simpler than what I anticipated. I mean, Natalie, I really thought this was going to be this long laundry list. It's overwhelming. You go in the store and they have every single color you've ever imagined, and there's so many names and different language that they're putting out there, but it really is simple. 30 SPF, mm -hmm. 50. 50 if you're going to be plus. prolonged, um, and then look for more of a mineral or physical sunscreen. Allie, thank you so much. It's easy. This and wear it every day. <laughs> every single day. She'll text if you don't. So make sure that you are staying safe. If you've got a question, a concern, hey, we're going to find the expert. All you have to do is email nikkid.ray at newschannel5.com.